What's up guys? It's your boy Nick Keys and today we're going to the house. Right now we're here at the Senior PGA here in beautiful Southwest Michigan. Join us and let's go. County Sheriff. Uh, never eaten here before, but looking forward to her great things about it. So, looking forward to the opportunity to eat here at Elm Street tonight. Hi, I'm County Commissioner Rayon St. Bell, 5th District representing St. Joe. And this is my first time at Elm Street, so I'm just excited to see what the talk is all about and happy to share my experience with my peers. Hi, I'm Donna Arlette. I'm the Senator at the Herald Palladium. I moved here a little over a year ago from Illinois and I haven't been to House yet, so I'm super excited to taste the food and I'll be happy on since around. My name is Brooke Thomas. I'm the mayor of St. Joseph and I love the house too. I come here all the time and love everything on the menu. Hello. My name is Mamie L. Commissioner which covers all of the city of Chicago, where we are right now. I have been to this beautiful restaurant before. This is my home, so I know the buildings. I thank you so much for this opportunity. All right, yeah. time to eat. Now let's eat some great food. Nick Eats started in my junior year of high school. Uh, it was during COVID. Uh, we had nothing to do. Uh, one random day, we were like, let's go to Pizza Hut and go to the beach. Then we had like a full photo shoot with pizza and everything. And, pizza Hut? Yeah, with pizza, pizza from Pizza Hut. And uh, after the photo shoot, I was like, well, this was fun. Like, And the photos turned out quite well. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just start making videos and make yeah. a website. But the thing of it was uh, how food brings us all together, no matter who we are, what we are. Yeah. And uh, I just thought that was just great, and we kept going. And ever since then, this channel's been growing. I have a website, nikki.org, yeah. and uh, it's just, just great. And so we all need to follow it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the editor of the Herald Palladium uh, newspaper. It's a long-standing newspaper in Southwest Michigan. Uh, tell me, how did you get your start in, in writing and you know doing what you do now? Sure. Um, so when I was in high school, I went to an all-girls Catholic high school, um, and you know there is issues that you know the Catholic Church kind of deal with, right? And so they were trying to address an issue in the school, but the way that they were doing it was really hurting the students. And at the time, I was on the newspaper and I wanted to write about it. Um, my teacher was very like enthusiastic and encouraging, like, "Yes, write about it. Please write about it." And having written about it, not only did individual students come up to me to thank me, but the admin changed what they were doing. And so it kind of gave me like that, that like inspiration that I could change the world that way. So yeah, I just want to change the world from a little tiny perspective. Right, perfect. <laughs> now we have Mayor Brooke Thomas. You're the mayor of St. Joseph City, uh, another great place here in Southwest Michigan. Tell me how, did you get your start in city government and why did you want to start in city government? Good question. I think it all started back when I went to social work school at Grand Valley State University. I remember when I was graduating, our class was deciding between two class models. One of them was be the change you wish to see in the world, and the other one was we're in it for the money. Yep. And <laughs> we did not choose the second one. We chose the first one, and so that kind of planted that seed as far as you know, someday you should try to do whatever you can to be that change. And as my career progressed, I thought this is a new way that I could make that macro level kind of eagle eye change in the world. And so I thought, why not? Let's get into it. And we're here with County Commissioner Rayante Bell. You're, you're the youngest elected county commissioner. Uh, what do you usually tell young people who are interested in getting involved in city government or activism? 
So, kind of want to piggyback off of Mayor uh, Thomas to be the change you want to see in the world. I'd like to challenge my peers to think about whatever it is that you're interested in, whatever you're passionate about, and think about what change you want to see regarding that issue. And don't be afraid to, to get involved. It all just starts with wanting to be the change, wanting to get involved, and not being afraid. Right. How, how old were you when you elect, were elected? I was 22 years old. 22? Wow. I'm, yeah. That's, that's inspiring uh, to see. And we're here with County Commissioner as well, uh, Mamie Yarbrough. And you've been able to serve our community in many ways for many of years. What do you usually, if somebody comes up to you and asks, what is Mid Harbor? What would you tell them? It's a masterpiece place. I would suggest they get the girl parade the Thursday that entertainment section it tells you what you can do all week, all month, and most of it's free. You get to see our community of all the things that are going on here, and we have a wealth of entertainment or knowledge or things that you can do. I was born at that time. I live now in the arts district, which is my neighborhood. When I was a child, that's where I went through there going to school. Our neighborhood was mixed, and was mixed always. There were Jewish people, Polish, Italian, we had a grocery store, we had, it was just everything. We have Sheriff Chuck Hyde. Uh, you've been in public safety for a while, <laughs> or a little bit longer than a while. <laughs> Tell me, what made you want to get in, uh, into this field? Um, some say that when I was five, I said I wanted to be a state trooper. I didn't have a voice in my first time. I tried to talk myself out of it very well, but I got back into it. So, something I've always wanted to do is here. That's it. So, I think we all need to do it. So, I think we all This one's going to be our sunflowers. There it is! Uh, Crowd we pleaser. We have sun shows, sunflower seeds, sunflower sprouts. All in that agri-dolce, we also have the petals in there as well, on top of a beautiful ball of parotta cheese. Alright Nick, so what was your favorite so far? Uh, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I like all of it. Really good. Uh, Whichever direction we're going. I did really like the, uh, the bread. The, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, Japanese, Japanese milk bread. Milk bread. Every time I come here. I have to get it. So, uh, what do you like about it? Sorry. Everything. I mean, it's fluffy. <laughs> I mean, that shrimp dish is really good. The shrimp and those wings were new to me, and those were both fabulous. I would order those again for sure. And this. This is new. This is really good. I believe they switched their menu up quite often. Yeah. That's good for the adventurous side, but then you miss the thing that you like the most. <laughs> like, can you bring that back, please? Yeah. Are the haystacks still on the menu? Yes. Okay. That's a really fun looking dish because it's a big plate and they do a lot of shredded, I don't know what the cheese is, what, what would be on a haystack? Maybe a manchego or something That's like that? fancy French. Yeah. Fancy French. Anyway, it looks like this big old poop of cheese. Did you say it on there? Fancy French. Oh, I see. I thought you were calling it fancy French. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite so far is the seeded toast. Like, it just had such a cool, like, layers of flavor. Oh, yeah? And I like the texture, too, of, like, the crunchiness of it. They make a pretty good cocktail, too, here, if you like cocktails. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I was cracking up when I looked at the menu and they named one a Daisy Buchanan. I'm like, I have to drink that just to drink that. Daisy next Buchanan? Time I oh, okay. Have you done Animal yet? Oh, wow. Gotta be next on your yeah. list. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we just finished eating here at the house. So, what do you guys think about this one? Woo! Wonderful. Delicious. Alright, it was delicious. Now we're gonna head to the PTA community concert. So, let's come with us.